good morning guys welcome back to the mountain well we got a busy day ahead of us today we're gonna actually build the room off the building here that's gonna house the generators i went and got all the supplies that i need the other day that y'all seen in the last video so now we're gonna go ahead and frame up some walls i actually still have the original deck that i ordered when the building was just going to be a 10 by 10 building and i think i'm going to try to use that instead of ordering new metal the problem is is this right here is a little bit too long so i think i'm going to come in a little bit starting to frame the wall and leave a little bit of a concrete pad behind the building to be able to house the gas cans and stuff and so i can still get the pitch and the width that i'm looking for with the metal right here Instead of ordering three more sheets of metal and having to wait for it to come in and everything like that, I need a place to store the gas cans anyways. So I think that's gonna work out and I believe that's what we're gonna do. I might change it up if I see that it's not gonna work like I want, but I think we're gonna be good. I got the foreman out here this morning. It looks like she's already been in the trash barrel. I don't know when she's ever gonna stop. But I did end up picking up another generator. I traded in the other one that I had. It was giving me problems again, that 5550 that I had. I've already been through two of them and wasn't willing to do another one. So I paid the difference and upgraded to the 8750. It's a nice little generator. One thing I do like about it, it has the push start option. Because when the other one was giving me all of those problems, man. I about pulled my shoulder out pulling on that cord trying to fix it so i'm definitely excited about that in the future i will end up getting a propane generator for that room but i'm still a ways out from that all right guys it's about 36 degrees out here today it is a cold fall autumn day it got down to 22 degrees last night i believe so it's still kind of cold and as you can see i'm not wearing a whole lot so I need to get my butt to work to warm up. Looks like the supervisors joined us too. You checking out the ladder? Is the ladder OSHA approved? All right guys, let's get after it.
All right, guys, we're making progress on the framing. I got this back wall done and I got that front wall done. And now I'm working on the side that's going to have the door. I actually had to stop and go to town and get some more two by fours and some one by fours. To be able to complete this project, I had enough to go ahead and do the framing, but I didn't have enough to go ahead and frame out the doors and to put the blocking in and the nailers. So I went ahead and stopped, ran up the true value, grabbed some two by fours. That way I can keep this project going. They are saying it is supposed to get cold tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to get as much done today as I can. Huh, before that cold snap even gets colder. I got the foreman out here making sure everything's good and even the supervisor woke up to make sure that everything is on point. But so far it's looking good. We're making some progress. It's definitely starting to cool down as that sun starts getting lower in the sky. Uh, this Florida boy is going to have to get used to working in this kind of weather. <laughs> I'm not used to it. But we are getting there. Right there where Ryder's at is where i kind of shorten the building and i'm actually going to use that little slab to store all my gas cans i think it'll work out real good and make it to where i don't have to order more metal all right guys let's keep this thing going That's a lot of framing for such a little small spot but we got it i got the door framed out i made a much bigger door than a standard door because i have no idea what size generator i'm gonna end up putting in here at the end so i want to make sure i got plenty of room to do that i did end up putting a double top plate on this section because i don't have the four by fours in the ground and the two by sixes or to hold the weight of the rafters so I did go ahead and put a double plate up top and locked it in with the double plate. You want to do that when you're locking in your corners. I got the foreman that just came out to check out the work. Whew, it's already almost dark, guys. Huh, time flies when you're having a good time. But it turned out pretty good. I'll have a nice little slide back there for my gas cans. Ryder approves. Ryder, what do you think about it? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Ryder's always sleeping, but it turned out pretty good. It's gonna be a nice little room for a generator. Honestly, this room right here probably is even big enough to be the actual solar room, but I do want more space in my solar room for future projects in the future. So now all we got left to do is put the two by sixes up, put our blocking in between it, and go ahead and put our one by fours across and put our metal on. But I don't think we're gonna get to all of that until in the morning. And then we'll get those two by sixes up there and get some metal on there. 
and then I should be able to close this building completely off with the house wrap and go ahead and cut out the doors and start putting the windows in huh <sighs> we're making progress guys but I'll see you in the morning good morning guys well we're back at it I've already got a two by six up there and laid out for the first one I'm gonna need to take it down cut it on both ends and get that first one up there then i'll be able to pull the measurements for the rest of them it is cold today it is actually colder today than it was yesterday but i am bound and determined to get this roof on today and to get this thing wrapped so with that being said hey let's get at it is screwed off come on whoo we got it that was a pain in the butt by myself but i got it <sighs> we got the roof on the generator section looks pretty good i like it i still got to put the blocking in and whenever i do the soffit i'll actually bring it out and kind of make it go that way so this whole corner kind of makes sense but i like it it looks good uh, full disclosure this side right here was a little bit out of square a little bit which caused a little bit of problems but i'll be able to make it up with the drip edge it ain't that big of a deal which i do already have and also i have end caps i'm not quite ready to take on this project yet though because i got the closures and stuff for the top i need to add another piece of drip edge right there but we are getting there guys i don't think i'm going to put the blocking in quite yet i'm going to do that at a later time 
see what kind of scraps I got left. I might actually have to mill a couple because I'm running real low on two by sixes. But I think we're gonna go ahead and put the house wrap up. And then whenever I start doing blocking for the rest of the building, I'll knock those a uh, couple out. I think it's only one, two, three, four, five, six. It's only six of them anyways. So there's no point to set up just to do that. But I think it turned out pretty good. All right, guys, let's keep on moving. Let's go ahead and get the house wrap out and the stapler and get this thing closed in. Another long two days guys but we got a lot done today we are officially 100% closed in on the building now granted the closed in part is only temporary because tomorrow morning I'm actually gonna cut the doors out that way I can still access the building because right now it's completely closed off huh and the kids are out here playing the weather is dropping the sun is just about to set, so I finished just in time. I got all of the seams taped. I might end up running one more line of tape on each one. I got like doubles everywhere. Got the outdoor kitchen. I'm still gonna have a problem with this corner right here, guys, because if y'all watched my video where I put the poles in, I hit a lot of rock in this area. And that pole right there, not only was it the most twisted, four by four that I had but I couldn't put it exactly where I needed it so I had to kind of offset it and make up the difference with the rafters and some of the framing so I know at least one person caught it that I ended up running this wall right here behind that four by four instead of straight into it that is to make this corner right here square it was about three and a half inches off and there really wasn't nothing I could do about it because of all the rock and stuff that was in the ground right there. I knew I was going to end up having to make it up in the framing somehow. So I'm going to end up putting a bulkhead right across here whenever I do my lighting and stuff for the outdoor kitchen and kind of hide that. The rest of the building is square. 
the roof line and all of that is good it's just inside the wall right there i'm just having to hide it a little bit but it is what it is if i would have had a jackhammer i could have jackhammered that big old boulder out of the way i actually had my backhoe and dug it out the best that i could to get the poles as deep as i could get it in that area but it was even more than what the backhoe wanted so i went ahead and decided just to leave it and deal with it later on when i'm framing and yeah it's kicking my butt a little bit but that's all right we'll make it happen i think the foreman approves i think the supervisor right here is upset with me because i done closed in where he likes to take a nap huh are you cold are you cold Ooh, come at me bro come at me <laughs> all right let's check out the overall view of it it looks great this is a big building guys now that it's completely closed in with all of the wrap you can kind of get a feel of the scale and size of this thing now that the generator room is done it is definitely a lot bigger still got to do the drip edge and all the closures and stuff but i'm not worried about that until i do the soffit up underneath this right here is sticking a little bit further out than what I wanted. So I'm probably going to have to beef this up and sturdy this up when I do the soffit there. But I'm really not mad at it, to be honest with you, because it gives me a nice little overhang over the door right there. So I'm going to make it work. Whew. Not too bad, not too bad. I think it turned out pretty good guys i can't wait until in the morning to cut these doors open so i can get in there and kind of see what it looks like all closed in <sighs> we are getting there i'm going to end up doing a whole lot of blocking and stuff tomorrow i'll probably end up putting in the blocking in between the rafters there i might actually have to look around and see because i don't know if i got enough two by sixes to do that i know i can do one side i'm going to be a little short on the other side but I think I got some scraps around here that I can make it work. But I think I'm done for today, guys. It's been a long two days. I'm happy with the progress. I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. And I love all the different pitches and angles that this thing has got. It really gives it a lot of character. And when I get that cedar siding on there, it's really going to pop. Whew. One step closer, guys. One step closer. But until we see each other again, guys, come on. <laughs> Let's go on another adventure.